This might just be Grotopia's biggest scam as of 2023. For the past decade, us Grotopians have seen an influx in types of scam methods people use, from simple ones like drop game or trust test, to now more complicated methods. But this one single method is easily the scariest and the most devastating one, as it isn't even bannable. As of recording, of course. This method involves royal locks and fake buyers. Basically, scammers will super broadcast something like quitting, cheap item here, and would feature items that just got cheap from an event or from Cyber Monday specifically, and or mystery blocks. When you show up to the world, it may look like a normal vend world or sometimes it's just that one item inside the vending machine. Either way, the important part is to not buy them because it is misleading and is a scam. By royal locking the world, they made it so that there is no free speech, so nobody to complain. Next, they will hire fake buyers or they would make their own alt accounts and start buying the vending machine item one by one at different intervals. Unsuspecting players will look at the chat log and assume that it is actually cheap when in reality, it isn't. This is very immoral and misleading. Let me explain further. It does not matter what the price is at the gem shop. While yes, the weather machine stuff costs 50,000 gems, in the player economy, its value is just 5-6 to six world locks. You'd think that stocking up on this is effective. Wrong. Unlike some items where investing on them is actually beneficial, more info on Jim Snow's video, these are not. For starters, they aren't limited. Next, there is just an oversupply of stuff or a surplus. And finally, even if you will decide to buy up all of the weather stuff in Grotopia's marketplace, you'd probably invest in over 100 EGLs for something that you'd only get a quarter of the supply. It's not gonna go up soon, and when it does, that's called price manipulation as well. So, what can I do to avoid this scam? Well, for starters, it really isn't by the definition of a scam. A scam is when you lose something, but unlike drop game or trust test, you do not lose anything in this method. What they do though is lie about its actual value. The price at which they set it as is technically at the normal range, but they make it seem like it is at a higher value and that you will be investing in something very good, when in reality it's not. Is it a scam? No. What it is though is a con. These people are con men, tricking you. What they are doing isn't technically illegal, but is 100% immoral. So, what can you do to avoid this? Well, since it is not bannable, the easiest and best way for you to do is to just stop being greedy and start researching more on the market value of an actual item before you buy something that looks fishy, aka something with a royal lock, aka someone trying to convince you to buy that item, your safest option is to go to a Hemo server and search for its actual market value, search the price, or go to its buy world to check its actual price. 